Hi guys, how are you? Good to see you once again. Luis Das from English CC Luis channel, yes. Hope you're all doing fine and uh, happy to see you once again to help you in English grammar. And in this video, I am just going to complete the discussion on degrees of comparison as you had noticed already and few of you may have watched my video on degrees of comparison and there I said the introduction and then the various formation of adjectives for three different degrees <coughs> and then I gave you also a few examples <coughs> and showed you how to transform and I said I would conclude my degrees of comparison in the next video. So for that purpose I am here today with you. Please watch my channel till the end and then subscribe it. Subscribe it. Increase the viewers and the subscribers so that many of you like who watch my videos constantly many will be able to get the benefit out of it. So let's go to the video today. So I have written few sentences in line with the transformation. Uh, transformation because I said there are three ways by which you can compare the adjectives in degrees. The first comparison could be comparing two equal objects, things or uh, places or persons. But for that you don't have superlative degree. And second type could be comparing one particular person or one particular thing or one particular place to all the others in the world with similar category and say that particular thing or that particular person or place is the most significant thing or place or person. And the third comparison could be, third comparison could be comparing one particular thing, one particular place or one particular person with a few others having similar type of qualities or characteristics or nature and say that this is this particular thing or person or place is one of the significant things. So that is another way of comparing. So these are the three different ways we can compare <coughs> adjectives in English. So I had already given you know, two or three examples in my previous video. So in this video, I am just here to help you to understand few more examples. So with this we complete. So let's go to the example straight away. See, I have written three different sentences having three different types. And I am going to change it with the help of your thinking in mind. Your thinking in mind and we are going to do it together. We are going to do it together and see how far we can succeed in answering the question. Alright? Okay. Come. Now, the first sentence I have written here is Very few birds are as beautiful as peacocks. Very few birds are as beautiful as peacocks. Now, what is the degree here? This is positive degree. This is positive degree. How can you decide? Because you have the, the formation as beautiful as. As adjective as. So, beautiful is the adjective here. And to write this positive degree, formation of positive degree for this particular adjective as beautiful as. So what are we doing actually here? We are comparing peacocks with other birds which are or that are as beautiful as peacocks. So this is positive degree. Alright. So this is positive. This is positive. Now how are we going to write comparative degree for this? You remember I told you certain clues, certain clues. When you come across the word in positive degree like very few, how do you begin your uh, comparative degree? See, peacocks, see, peacocks, since it is plural, you have to have the plural verb. So peacocks are Adjective is plural. So therefore, what you are saying? More beautiful. 
so peacocks are more beautiful than okay so this is the formation more beautiful than comparative formation adjective more beautiful than then what did i say you remember many other or most other okay many other or most other most other what birds see birds is the noun there and it becomes the object so this is the comparison comparative degree now this is the format huh? more comparative than okay so this is the keyword here many other or most other birds Now we have written the positive and this is your comparative. Since I don't have space, I just write as C. Comparative. Then what is the superlative degree for this sentence? So whenever you have very few and many other, most other, what is the starting word for the superlative? Peacocks. Of course you begin with your noun. Peacocks are one of the most beautiful birds okay peacocks are one of the most beautiful birds <coughs> here i am using peacocks as plural that's why i am using the verb are there so here of course you have the superlative formative adjective the plus the superlative format for the adjective Peacocks are one of the most beautiful birds. So that is the comparative of this is your superlative. This is your superlative. Clear? Now so this is one model. Come to the next one. Come to the next one. See? And this is another type. What is this one here? No other game is as fast as football. No other game is as fast as football. So you can easily understand how this is positive degree. This is positive degree. Okay? So this is your positive degree. Fast is your adjective. Okay? This is as fast as adjective. Now, what is your comparative degree for this one here when you have the word no other? How would you begin the comparative degree? <coughs> of course, you have to begin with your noun, subject. Football. Football is faster than. Faster than. What is the clue word I gave you? Remember? Faster than any other. Any other game. Okay, football is faster than any other game. See, this is your comparative portion. Any other is your blue word. See, and this is your comparative. Okay. Now, what is your uh, superlative here? What is your superlative? So, when you have no other, any other, and how do you begin your uh, superlative here? How do you begin with? See, football is the football is faster than any other game. So begin with your now football is the and then your superlative format the fastest fastest game. That's all. Football is the fastest game. Football is the fastest game is your superlative. Clear? See? The fastest. So that plus superlative, adjective plus EST. So this is the another type, second type. Now go to the next one here. 
Tea is not so harmful as coffee. Remember, we are comparing two equal drinks. Tea and coffee. And what is your uh, degree here? This is positive. So harmful as. Or as harmful as you can write. This is positive. Which means you cannot have superlative for this degree. So what is the comparative degree here? We so begin with the down here. Coffee is harmful. Harmful than tea. Okay, so this is your comparative. Clear? This is your comparative. How do you feel now, guys? Easy, no? Very easy, no? Very easy, simple. Go through the examples. So this is how we must be able to identify and write as many sentences as possible so that we can become clearer and clearer in our day-to-day -day life when we write sentences not only degrees of comparison for that matter in any grammar, in any grammar. Practice makes a person perfect. Okay? So unless we do this constantly seeking, seeking, identifying, searching, so no one is nothing is going to be easy. So therefore, these are the three models. We can have more and more examples. We can have more and more examples. And I can give you more and more examples. There are a lot of sentences are there. Of course, you can refer to <coughs> you can refer to many other many other resources, browsers, you can just go through and write, find out sentences from various degrees and try to change it. Now let me say one hour, uh, let me say one example in all the three types orally. See how far we can transform. See, I have written, I have written here three sentences here. The first one is May is hotter than April. Okay? May is hotter than April. What are we doing now? This is the comparison of two equal things. So we are comparing the month of April and May. So certainly you cannot have superlative. So how are you going to write positive here? Because this is comparative degree. May is hotter than April. So how would you write Positive. April is not so hot as May. April is not so hot as May. Positive. See, first time. Let me say another sentence here. The Nile is the longest river in the world. Nile. You know the river, no? The Nile. Why do you use Definite article there because there is no other river called Nile. So therefore we use definite article. The Nile is the longest river in the world. So we have added EST to the adjective. And what is the degree here? Superlative. The Nile is the longest river in the world. Okay. Now, how are you going to write comparative for this sentence here? The Nile is the longest river in the world is a superlative and comparative could be the Nile is longer than any other river in the world. See, the Nile is longer than any other river in the world. Comparative. And then what is your positive degree? Clue word. No other river in the world is as long as the Nile. See? No other river in the world is as long as Nile. Okay? Second type. Let me give one example in another type. So Shakespeare is one of the greatest dramatists in English literature. See? Shakespeare is one of the greatest dramatists in English literature. What is the degree now? Superlative. Shakespeare is one of the greatest dramatists in English literature. So, superlative. Now, here your clue word is one of the dramatists. 
greatest dramatist. So how can you write positive, sorry, comparative degree for this sentence? Shakespeare is, what is your positive formation? Look at the sentence again. Shakespeare is one of the greatest dramatist in the world, in the in English literature. So your comparative could be Shakespeare is greater than many other or most other dramatists in English literature. Let me repeat it again. Shakespeare is greater than many other or most other dramatists in English literature. Okay, that is your comparative degree. What about uh, positive degree? Very few dramatists are as great as Shakespeare in English literature. Very few dramatists are as great as Shakespeare in English literature. That's your positive deal. What else do you want? See, what else do you want? So we have written about uh, three or four examples in each type. So very simple guys and viewers, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, watch these kind of videos till the end. And then try to analyze within yourself. Within yourself. If you are watching it alone, try to read more and more videos like this. Watch videos like this. And then enrich yourself in English grammar. Enrich yourself in English grammar. As I have told you already, this is kind of a homely atmosphere, tuition like. I'm just helping you. Because I'm just writing sentences on the board and teaching you as if I am teaching in the classrooms in schools. And this could be of more lively and simple and simple. Whenever you feel free, you can just zoom it and watch if the sentences are not visible. What I have written on the whiteboard here. So guys, this is it. So let's complete uh, the degrees of comparison with this discussion and information. For your information, in my next video, I promise you that I am going to sing a song on degrees of comparison. I am going to sing a song and I have formulated and I have composed a song in degrees of comparison and I will sing it for you and play it through the harmonium as well as through the keyboard. Let's enjoy the English literature and writing grammar more and more and become more and more efficient uses of grammar in English. Guys, so see you. God bless you. See you in the next video. Thank you.